In this video, we're going to have a look at adding a persistent menu to our Facebook bot. Um, there's two things that we need to do to add a persistent menu to our bot. Number one, we need to add a get started button. Number two, we then can add our persistent menu. The way we do that is we issue a HTTP request. So you can see here, this is the um, GitHub page associated with this post. We've got two HTTP requests that we're issuing. The first one is to add our get started button. So all we're doing is issuing an HTTP post. We're then creating this JSON object and inside this JSON object, we're sending a payload. And this is the thing that gets sent to your bot application when the user clicks get started. Okay, once we've done that, we can then add our persistent menu to our bot. Again, this, we do that the same way. We issue a HTTP post, we pass in a JSON object, and inside here, we basically define our menu hierarchy. Um, so you can basically build up a quite complex hierarchy. Um, in this example, it's quite simple. We've just got one level um, with one action in. So you can see we've got an action with a title sample action. It's of type post back, which means it's going to send a message back to my bot when a user clicks on it. And again, we have the same idea where we can post a, a payload back to the user, which can be text, JSON, or any kind of information you want. Okay, so when you use this, the only thing to be aware of is you will need to provide your own page access token um, inside here. And if you registered your bot on Facebook, you can see your page access token by going to messenger in developers.facebook.com. If you just scroll down, you select your page that you want to associate it with and you grab the page access token from there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead now and issue those two curl requests. So first of all, I'm going to issue, create my um, get started button. Okay. And then I'm going to add my persistent menu. Okay, so you can see, let that run through. You can see we've got a HTTP 200 back saying success. Okay, so that's registered now. So I'm almost ready to test my, my application. The only thing I wanted to show you at this point is I'm good, although I'm using Facebook Messenger um, to test this, I, I want to run it against my local Visual Studio. So I've set a breakpoint in my messages control here. Um, so I want this breakpoint to be hit when a user um, interacts with my bot. So the way I'm going to do that is to use ngrok. Now, if you haven't used ngrok before, ngrok is basically a tunnel where um, it, it exposes a, a public endpoint. Here you can see it's HTTPS and ngrok IO and tunnels that all the traffic that's received on the endpoint to your local machine. And what that means is you can actually go into bot framework and um, register that as your endpoint. So if I come into, into here, you can see my message and endpoint is my ngrok endpoint there. So, so that will be routed through to my local machine when I interact with it. Okay, so everything's in place now. So I can go ahead and test my bot. So I've got a Facebook page here, pretty simple. I can click on send message. You can see now I've got get started button. So if I click get started, that should send a message to my bot application. So hopefully the, the debugger will fire in a second, yep. And you can see that message has been posted to Visual Studio. And inside there, we should have our payload. So there you can see it's, that's the payload that Facebook Messenger has sent because the user has clicked on the Get Started button. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue that. So now the user started a conversation and when a user clicks on sample action, that message will be sent back to my Visual Studio um, application. 